Hey everybody, today I'm gonna to show you how to do a full website audit. So we'll cover things like uh, user experience, SEO, page speed, content, and more. Uh, so I'm actually gonna use one of our internal sites for this one and uh, kind of do it for my partner in crime behind me, Sean here. So we're gonna shred him a new one in this one. Um, and if you haven't yet, uh, thanks for coming to our channel. Uh, name's Mac Frederick with Momentum Digital. Um, I like to post content that helps you as a small business owner or marketer with SEO, digital marketing, web design, paid ads, and much more. If you like and subscribe, you know, check out the channel with tons of information. Hit that bell, turn on the bell for post notifications, and uh, any feedback we'd appreciate. So, without further ado, let's jump into it and audit a site. myself um, we'll talk through a couple tools you can use but first thing let's just pull up the site so um, let me reload this so here we have it momentum virtual tours for our momentum 360 brand um, very clean home page for what we see so far logo is a little tough to see up here but I do like the uh, drop down tabs here very clean font if you are work get a free quote um, while you're doing this, just a, a couple tools to point out. I always use Google Chrome, as you can see in the top left here. And we use different Chrome profiles for different businesses and accounts. Within a Chrome profile, you have extensions. So you have uh, Google Tag Assistant. This lets you track different tags you have on the website. And also, really quickly, you might have noticed this pop up here to get a free quote, which is a great idea. People are looking for free quotes all the time, depending on your product or service. Uh, this looks pretty self-explanatory, uh, so I'm just going to fill this out. Uh, they can be annoying, but that's why it's good to set up a delayed timer. This one's probably about 60 seconds, I'd say. So submit that. Let's see if there's any redirect or thank you or anything. Uh, we definitely suggest tracking something on a redirect. Um, Okay, let's redirect. Took a little bit to go through there, but there's a thank you page that's probably tracked as a conversion, which is nice. Um, I definitely suggest having some review, reviews and testimonials here. Uh, we see a lot of blogs and content, but it'd be cool to see like a video to understand the next steps or maybe just to schedule the call directly and to see some testimonials. Um, but sorry, let's jump back here. So I'm assuming this is the home tab. It's not very self-explanatory, but it's nice to click that. So Google Tag Manager or Google Tag Assistant, this will let you see what tags are on, the, on your website. So if you have Google Tag Manager, uh, we've got Google Analytics, Google Remarketing Tag for Google Ads, so that's good. We also have the Facebook Pixel Helper here, uh, which what I see right off the bat is there's two pixels, so I'm not exactly sure which one's working. That's something they'll wanna check on the back end. We must have missed that. And then I like the Meta SEO Inspector tool. So this lets you see you pretty much want everything to be green here. So, you know, we do a lot of digital marketing and SEO, so it should be good for the most part with this whole audit, but we see the meta title looks really good, good keywords. Um, we see the meta description with some of those other important keywords, uh, different property tags, internal links, structured data is really good. Um, that's a lot of structured data, okay. Um, H1, H2, the header tags are probably done incorrectly. Not too many H3s, these are probably used as um, sections of the page instead of using uh, the paragraph tag font, or the, the paragraph tag. Um, these are just labeled as H tags. So definitely wanna limit the amount of those you have, especially H1s and H2s. Uh, there's 24 links without an anchor text. Was it isn't a huge deal. Um, not every link needs to have an anchor text. It could just be a link from an image or a link itself. Um, so this SEO inspector is fantastic to use. Uh, everything looks good there. You can go to some of their explore tools and it also links out to things like SEMrush. Um, so pretty much within this uh, meta SEO inspector tool here in the Chrome extension, you could go out to site checker, which is really good. Uh, we could check out um, Majestic SEO. And we're also gonna do page speed analysis. So that's one of the first things I like to start with. 
Most websites, especially on mobile, have a really slow page load speed. So I suggest PageSpeed Insights with Google because we want to rank at the top of Google, right? So we'll let that run. I also suggest GT Metrics. And you'll typically want to do this for every page on your website, but especially the home page to find out if it's fast and mobile friendly. So it's still diagnosing here and here. Let's jump back to the website and just do a visual user experience audit. Uh, you can also download and use a tool like Hotjar to see how people are using and experiencing their website. Um, if you take a look at their videos, it kind of shows you heat maps, recordings, feedback, and surveys. So you can kind of see what people are doing and how they're using the website. So it's really cool software to use. Brands we trust. Um, it might be nice if these were colored. Um, it'd probably be good to have like an initial phrase here or some sort of uh, one or two lines just explaining what the business does exactly and then have the proof of high quality clients. You probably want to make sure these are even linked out to those pages, but it's not necessary. Okay, so right here explains exactly who Momentum 360 is, so that's fine. Um, probably a good image here, you might some, want something a bit branded. Uh, very clean spacing, make your business stand out everywhere, business with virtual tours attract 55% more traffic. So this stat could stand out a little bit more. Um, is this a video? Okay, that's cool. Or a video showing what you do on the homepage. I didn't know it was a video right away, but I did see that tiny play button. Uh, so it might be cool if that were just a video that stands out a bit more. Provide uh, for, uh, potential clients that end up virtual tour for a busy or whatever. Okay. Request a virtual tour. I'm sure that works. All right. People want to see your work, products, testimonials, reviews, so it's good to see your work here. I like that when you highlight it, it shows what it is. Uh, these buttons are a little small but still good, call for free quote or schedule online, good calls to action. Three step guide to getting your business a virtual tour. Yeah, what's the process? Contact us, make sure these links work. Let's see, email. You might wanna um, open that menu tab. All right, schedule the demo, that's good. Schedule the tour. Following your code of hours, that's going to be a photo shoot after 10, two, two hours of shoot. Publish and share, okay. Change away your customers for your business. Very clean, you might, you could probably make that a little bit bigger. Call for a free quote, good for mobile. The latest insights. Those are probably blogs, that's good. Newsletter, that's very clean. Latest from YouTube, I like that. Take one to keep it forever. Good language here, another good form. Uh, brands, what clients say, uh, it's great to have that user testimonial there. Frequently spelled wrong, frequently asked questions, but these questions are pretty good q and I really like this actually. Um, this could be a little bit bigger for what's the cost and how to customers use the virtual tour. So this could be expanded a little bit. Overall, fantastic homepage in terms of de design, just a few things I'd fix. Page speed, let's jump over. Um, mobile, 17 out of 100, not great. There's a ton of content here, probably a lot of unused JavaScript. So the main uh, points to fix are eliminate render blocking resources. So that's kind of common in WordPress themes based on like if you're using a theme, there's a lot of extra JavaScript and CSS. Serve images in next gen formats. Um, image formats like WP and a better compression. Uh, that's true, but that's hard to fix in many cases. Um, it looks like it's the background image on that one. You can see which of these are heavier than others, so definitely compressing images is very helpful. Reduce unused CSS. This is a coding issue. Definitely want to work through that. Let's check out desktop though. It's usually the same errors and issues for everybody. Uh, Google does really prioritize PHP though, so definitely on mobile. Um, time to interaction, so it loads a lot better on desktop, so you really need to clean up that mobile speed. And it is just some coding and CSS stuff. You definitely wanna develop and code for mobile first. Jump over to GT Metrics. 
Not a great grade. Um, most businesses are D or F though. Um, especially if you're using WordPress, like there are a lot of plugin CSS and coding issues that you gotta get through. So this is a big concern of ours right now. So we need to go through the uh, render blocking resources in JavaScript and code and code some of these images a bit better. This one's way too big here. What is that? The homepage hero image. All right, so some things to clean and fix up. So use those platforms to audit your website page speed too. Then we're gonna jump into um, you know, checking calls to action, make sure all the buttons work. We'll jump through the main um, menu buttons. Partner 360, let's talk, okay. Social links, Partner 360. We'll probably make these stand out a little bit more. Probably use a branded image here. Uh, branded image here. There's a favorite. Enjoy them. Maybe update this every so often. Fill out the partner request. And maybe include some sort of case study or review about somebody that you've partnered with to show proof of concept. Let's go to the services page, virtual tour services. Uh, Grow your small business virtual tours. For more. Okay. 88 compliance. I don't know if that's the first one we'd want to showcase. Turn an aerial. I would make sure to link out these images to the actual page instead of just the buttons. Maybe try to clean up uh, the alignment, maybe add a little bit more text in some of these sections. Um, the images make sense though, that's good. Real estate piano. A lot of services here, wow. Very impressive. Schedule call, maybe yeah, have the form. That's good, I like that page. Maybe check the meta SEO here. Good SEO check. Virtual services. Okay. Then you can go through each one of these pages. There's a lot of content here. Oh, that's pretty cool. You might want to just go through and check to make sure all your links work. Uh, we got the scrolling parallax there. That's really nice. Uh, add some visual effects to the page. Why hire us? Oh, these kind of expand out, that's nice. A lot of parallax on this page. It does slow down load uh, speed time, but people like to see it. Maybe just prefer it on desktop. All right, so go through each one of these pages then for the service pages if it's your business or client. Virtual tour services. It's very similar to the actual home page for services. Get a free quote in minutes, okay. I can't see this logo here. Okay, maybe it just takes a little bit to load. Virtual services, okay, that's nice. Decent amount of content, pretty self-explanatory. Make sure the portfolio button works. Check out our work. Okay, good content there. Maybe add a little bit of spacing here. Connect with us. Okay, that's cool. Videography, and there's a lot of pages, a lot of content on this website, so it'll be a lot to go through if we do this, take all day long. Debt videography, real estate videography. So we're talking about videography, but I don't see any videos on this page, so that's clearly something that we need to focus on. Uh, make sure you're promoting whatever product or service the page is talking about, because customers will notice and Google will notice too. So, I focus on that. Um, otherwise, it looks pretty good, pretty easy and clean. Let's check out photography. Similar layout, same content. That's a big issue. The written text is different. Uh, there's some extra sections here. But definitely got to clean up that videography page. Drone and aerial. Really cool projects. Uh, we work with a lot of different realtors, businesses, um, planners in terms of like getting high quality drone footage. So a uh, spacing issue here a little bit. And I think on all these pages, the spacing formatting of what our clients say could be fixed. So I don't wanna keep boring you guys with this, but um, I'm gonna keep going through this quote. You wanna make sure you go through every page, uh, make sure conversion tracking is set up and working as well. Make sure each page has the meta SEO. Um, go through the tags, titles, descriptions, 
analytics and tracking tags, Facebook tags, and so on and so forth. And um, just make sure there's nothing broken. You can also go over to SEMrush and run an audit there or on Site Checker. So I could run a quick check here. Ran a quick check here. Domain authority score, traffic, backlinks, etc. Um, we can do a site audit using SEMrush's site audit tool. Uh, great health errors. There's a lot of errors that can be fixed. So you go into the errors and warnings and kind of work through these one at a time. It prioritizes the ones at the top that are worse. 4-4 redirects and chain loops, 12 pages of duplicate meta descriptions, eight issues with duplicate title tags, some internal page uh, images broken, and then you can go to warnings as well. Lots of warnings with the JavaScript CSS. So work through those with a developer or you can hire somebody like us to help with this. Um, you want to check this monthly, which is what we're doing now. Um, pretty neat blog here. Everything looks good with that. I like the date and social links. Um, I'm going to go through the rest of this, but uh, I hope this was helpful and informative. There's a lot of different tools and features you can use. I definitely suggest all these Chrome extensions up here. Uh, definitely suggest SEMrush, Site Checker, uh, PageSpeed, uh, GT Metrics, all of those things. If you found this useful, um, please leave a comment or thumbs up, like this video, and just smash that subscribe button, turn on the bell for post notifications. Uh, we do audits and SEO reviews and videos all the time, so I'm going to keep digging into this audit, but for now, I'm just going to close this out, and uh, I will see you in the next video. Thanks, and see you soon.